السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. This is my third visit to Gaza in 2010. At that time, I was I left Islamic Leaf and I had a, I became the president of Humanitarian Forum and I had a very good relationship with the top of security on the intelligence in Egypt at the time, uh, the late uh, Minister His Excellency Omar Suleiman. And we told his office about our intention to visit Gaza at that time and they said no problem and we sent the names to the office in Cairo and we were about 10 people, 9, 10 people to go there. And we arrived at Rafah, the Egyptian Rafah and at the border, the checkpoint, actually I went to the police officer at the checkpoint, he said we don't have any uh, list about yourself or any decision about letting you inside Gaza. Then I rang uh, the office of His Excellency uh, Mr. Uh, Omar Suleiman, late Omar Suleiman, and they told me His Excellency is in a meeting and will come back to you in an hour's time. I sat down in the office of the uh, uh, police, or the police office there, and within an hour, uh, a, fo- a, phone, a call came to me from the office from Mr. Ahmed Suleiman, which is the, the the, the manager of the office of Mr. Omar Suleiman and they said uh, yes okay fine uh, is, a sick, is a police officer with you he said yes he's with me so I gave the telephone to the police officer to talk to the office of the intelligence in Cairo at that time he told him uh, is Dr. So and so there he said yes he's there with us said let him in he said but sir he has got about nine or eight people or ten people with him said let all of them to go there we know all of them this message the verbal message reflects the trust the bridge that we build with the security the transparency and the relationship it has not been built over one month or one meeting it has been built over years and they knew that we are not going to let them down that's why by a phone call, they allowed 10 people for different passports, different nationalities to enter a, a volatile area under the siege which called Gaza at that time. So in Gaza, I was consulting with Dr. Susi, who was actually the director of Islamic Relief Office there, where to stay. And there has two hotels. One is owned by private businesses, independent, and the other was owned by private business also, but actually related to a political group in the city. I said, there's no way that we can go and walk inside the other hotel, which is connected to a political group in the city. Because once you put your foot there, that means that you meet those people, you support those people. And we stayed there for about seven, ten days to go to different areas in Gaza and make studies and take information, talk to the youth. It was actually... It was different to what we saw in 1997 at the time of the honey and milk and Singapore and uh, Hong Kong of the dreams of, of late uh, President Yasser Arafat. This time was siege, siege, siege of Gaza. And you can see the agony, the, the suffering on the faces of the young people who kept telling us, so we are excelling in our secondary education, we are excelling in the university, but so what? after we qualified from the university, there is no jobs for us. One of the things we're trying to find a way to create jobs through the internet uh, at that time. Then we finished our mission and we went back to Cairo and from Cairo everybody went to where he came from or where she came uh, from. The message here, the message here, the message here, if you are a partner, respect your partner. Don't become emotional. Well, emotional when you come inside and start to make scars, political with humanitarian, with social and other. Because who gave us the key to enter the the city of Gaza or the province of Gaza was the security of Egypt in a full trust, in a transparent way. So we have to be transparent. We have to be to the point, and we have to observe the the, the, the and respect the credibility and the integrity of the people who allowed you inside this area. No emotion, no hot-headedness, no, 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 no crossing line in this area. Because if you decide to cross lines, many, 
many, many security officers from different backgrounds will write different reports about yourself. Thank you very much. Wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.